If we can catch him, catch him sleeping here. Fuck. It's so warm from the sun, too. Sonic. That's pretty cool. We got a couple. So this is what I ended up picking up. She didn't have anything else. Got some Sega. They're like little games, but they still work. I just turned this one on. This is the one that caught my eye here. From the uh, Mario Bros. Three. These things are old, man. I remember playing with these. So, yeah, pretty awesome, I think. Mm, uh, so she wants 30 per game. And is not budging. Oh well. So essentially she wants $100 for this. Budge. So I tried to bundle it and. <laughs> oh god. Oh well. Maybe I'll come back then. That looks iffy. It's more like yellow orange. Yeah. Princess. Twilight Princess.
Are you asking for? Well, for all of them. All right, guys. As you saw, we had a pretty decent day at the swap meet today. I'm actually gonna go get something to drink. But anyways. After that, I'm going to be heading to Retro City Games. I have something on hold there that I'm going to be picking up. I have a tub of trades here uh, that I've been holding on to for something big just like this. It is a pretty big game. Actually, two pretty big games. So, yeah, I can't wait to check those out. The trade box. It looks like a What's going on, man? How you been? <laughs> oh, what do we got this? Huh? Yeah, it works out though at the swap meet because they don't, you know, you can't film in there. Yeah. All right, so here are my pickups. Nice, nice and minty. and everything all right guys so here it is um, pretty solid day of hunting I would say uh, man I was this close to not even getting up and going to the swap meet but uh, pretty glad I did so uh, yeah let's just go over everything uh, it wasn't I don't say it's it's more uh, quality than quantity I guess so let's start off with uh, some of the more the smaller stuff. Wario uh, Master Disguise on the DS. It's pretty cool. This little uh, platformer there, kind of like uh, I'd say like a compare it to like a Kirby game, power ups and stuff. Uh, not too bad. All these Mario Wario games are always usually good. This I was pretty happy to find. Um, I've been looking for these uh, little Konami handhelds. There's two more of these that I want. Um, there's also a uh, Turtles basketball one. Uh, I'm not terribly interested in that one, but uh, I do want the uh, regular game ones. Um, let's go with uh, House of the Dead. House of the Dead 2. Uh, Dreamcast uh, next to N64 is probably uh, uh, another one that I'm interested in going for a full collection. Uh, Dreamcast is another system that I did grow up with, so... Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Gotta complete the N64 one first, so. Uh, these were pretty interesting. These were, uh, I think, uh, I don't know if I got into the video. The, the table said uh, two for a buck, um, but I only found three game related ones. As you can see, this is a uh, Sonic little, uh, one of those like little Tiger handheld types games, and uh, a Tails one. I don't really know what they are. I can't really play through it. Through the bag too well but uh i'm gonna keep them sealed this is the one that caught my eye here this is one of four from the uh mario 3 uh, happy meals that they had uh, there's four different ones there's also a display uh that i would like to someday get but yeah keeping these sealed of course really really awesome fun i'm happy happy to get those then on this, I don't know where this is from. This is uh, has to be more recent. I know it says 2008 on there, but this is a Street Fighter like collector's coin. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in on the actual coin here. There we go. It's not too bad. It's pretty cool. Uh, I bought the uh, the turtles thing and the House of the Dead. I got the guy to throw it in. He wanted like two, three bucks for it. I was like, just. just just throw it in, man. <laughs> and he said, yeah, so I eh, can't really complain. And on to last uh, actual swap me pickup was this. I uh, picked this up from uh, one of Doug's uh, reseller friends for a pretty decent price. Can't remember what this game, how this game plays. I never had it, so 
gonna have to check that out. So, now onto this over here. I did find a pretty decent lot of manuals. Um, there's any everything from uh, Game Boy stuff, pretty decent stuff. Like uh, check that out. To uh, some NES. Um, let's see here. Yeah, there's a huge stack of NES games. Everything is uh, pretty common. There's nothing incredibly rare. Uh, got some Bayou Billy, Little Mermaid, Rocketeer. Um, everything is pretty common, but uh, they are in really, really good condition. So I'll just go ahead and give you guys a little preview there. Um, these will help me complete a lot of mine that I have. Either just loose or box cart. And of course, now going to the Retro City Game Finds. Now, obviously, I did get these uh, mainly through trade, uh, picking up all you know, picking up all this stuff throughout uh, weeks and stuff really does help, uh, especially pay for this guy here. So let's go with the N64 ones. Of course, going for the complete uh, set, um, shooting for the complete inbox set. And I don't see why that would be too hard to complete. So two games I didn't have. Uh, so yeah, two more check marks off the list. Not really sure what number I'm at, so uh, I'll, I'll check that. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. And of course, the two big finds of the day. Uh, we got Metal Storm for the NES, and a complete unbox Chippendales 2. I can't remember if I showed it in the video, but the the carts are really, really nice. Nice and clean, nice labels. Uh, yeah, this is a huge check mark off the list. It's funny, I was just watching a video of somebody picking this up, and uh, of course it pops up. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that is it for the finds on this uh, hunt. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, go ahead and leave a like if you uh, like what you saw. Go ahead and subscribe for future videos, and I will uh, see you guys next time.